one of the interesting things about prison ministry is it exposes um, a widespread weakness in the church. And again, to cite my saintly mentor, Ken Carter, he, he points to Matthew 25 and the parable of the sheep and the goats. And he says, well, what does Jesus ask us to do? Feed the hungry, give water to the thirsty, clothe those who are naked, visit those who are sick, and visit those who are in prison. And he goes, so how do you think your local church is doing on this task list? And most people go, well, you know, we help out the homeless a little bit. You know, we, we, care. We, we have tons of stuff going on in the hospitals. We visit the sick. And he says, do you know where your local prison is? And they don't. Do you know where any prisons in the area? And they don't. And he goes, it's not a multi-choice. You're meant to be in the prisons. Furthermore, they're your most challenging environments. They're tough. So you need to send your shock troops into prison, your highly trained leaders who can handle uh, very, very complex relationships. And when you appreciate this, what you realize is the American church isn't in prison very much at all. And yet we lock up vast numbers of people.